Hey guys, Doe here, and today I've just been doing some programming. I wanted to show you. Uh, here's my program that I wrote. It has hard coded maps. It's the beginning of the game. Anyway, um, this is how I originally did the map. Uh, and you'll see how it turns out in a minute. Each letter corresponds to a color that's going to be on the screen. And I completely coded this by myself. Um, Let's see, so here is all the if statements that say uh, stuff like uh, rocks.append, which means that I'm going to add it to the list of rocks up here. And then up here in the rocks class, it says I'm going to basically uh, pass in an entity. An entity is a sprite generator. So basically, then down here, I have my entities plural equals pi game dot sprite dot group so if I have entities that's a group of sprite and I have entity that is a sprite so I'll run this and show you guys how it works but uh, anyway uh, here we go so here's the map after it's finished loading and it will give me a list of all of the things from left to right and what they are and by the way I'm programming in Python so, uh, this is the map. You see there's the paths here that lead up to a couple of markets here, and this is a um, little house here. The only thing I haven't done is add the roofs, which I may do real quick and show you guys how I go about doing that. So I find a good color for the roofs. So let's, let's just go a dark green, something like this. And then I look at these values here. I'm going to tweak this a little bit. There we go. Um... And then I'm going to bring back up my Python. I'm going to close this and that and bring up my code. And then um, how I do it is basically where it says roofs here. I'm going to go in there and add a little bit of code. And I'm going to say if r equals roof or r equals roof. So I'm saying that r is a new attribute of the class roof with the values x and y and then I'm gonna say roofs dot append r so I'm adding r to the roofs uh, what's it called list pretty much and then I'm gonna say entities dot add and then up here I already have derived roofs no I don't so I'm gonna have to say roofs um, equals a list basically and then up here I'm going to copy this class here and I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to say class roof with a capital which is going to pass through entity and then I want self x and y so it has those um, those um, attributes and then I'm going to uh, change the color which is right here these are the values so it's going to be 0 uh, then 125 and 60 and then let's run this again and you can see now the roofs are a darker green color just like I want them to be. So now um, I can see it's exactly that color. But the cool thing is, if I wanted to change the map or make another map, I could just copy paste this and then add a couple things in there and run it again. And as you can see, it would change them to whatever I did. And hashtag corresponds to a rock, so it is now a rock right there. So I hope I've explained this well enough. If I haven't, I'll make you guys a tutorial. Just leave a comment, and I'll see you later.